Heidi ho, my gorgeous women of my heart. It is that time again. It is for Lala's. Get ready with me for no reason makeup. And this is going to be stuff I had and a couple of brand new things. And one is a continuation of the cream foundation because I just went right over this CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless. Okay, this is in 235 medium light. All right, tried it a long time ago and I thought it was too heavy. Probably before I realized less is more. So we're going to be doing that. And then we're going to do my rendition of a smoky eye. So I decided I'm going to use NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals. So I can still have a smoky eye, but it'll be not so harsh. All right. Without further ado, wackadoo, let's get to it. I've applied my skincare sunscreen. And then for my speckle, <laughs> For my primer, I'm using Laura Geller's Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer Bright and Blur. I had this already. I thought, I remembered this was lovely, so I thought I'd do this again. And I learned something from Riza Does Makeup. Just love her. You know, I've, I always put my brows on first, and then I end up having to refix them more, more times than not after I put on my foundation. So she said what she does to frame her eyes is she'll just line the bottom. She's ingenious. So I thought I'd try it too. All right, so I have this NYX HD, oh, and the colors are so odd. This color is um, CW02. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit and put them. So it looks like I have a little forming of a zit right there. I'm just gonna go over where my glackas are. Gosh. Just a tad, like so. And then I'm going to take my Fluff Fluff McGruff Kitten Paw by Angie. I love the spot, don't you? Okay. Hmm. More later, and I'm going to open it. And I'm going to take my damp sponge, my elf damp sponge, and I'm going to do just like I did the Milani. And my swirly girly gumdrops. And this has Olay in it, their moisturizer, and then the cream foundation. Ready? Don't forget the ears. How are you ladies? <laughs> I'm just so tickled with all my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. My beautiful comments I'm getting. You guys are amazing. I'm very pleased that I have women of all ages, even in their 20s. And it's true. You need to start then with all of the skincare that we do now. So it has a tendency in my texture to sit in there. And it's a little bit in the fine lines and I don't think I used too much at all. Aquaphor and oh, many of my beautiful ladies have been telling me that they're using uh, Burt's Bees and they have some other balms that are you know, just simple like this and have been working wonderful under their eyes. As long as there's not a lot of oil in it or fragrance, you know, anything in there that could be harsh, go for it. Regular Vaseline on your fingers, just a light dab. We're gonna finish the brows. Let's see how well this, this worked for la la, for ooh la la. Okay, I do have to go back up. I don't have a lot of hair, but you know what? It helps. And every time I get in this mirror, even if I've plucked, ladies, I see hairs that I need to pluck. Or if you have a lot of, you know, fuzz here, I have one of these little, what is the brand of this? Capla, Cap, Caplio. Oh, I'll list everything in the description below that I'm using, but it has two heads. It has this one that's really good for up under the brows, and it has this little flathead one that I use to get the fuzz off. And you want your skin to be clean and dry. So noisy before you use it. But it helps if, if it's really fuzzy there, you got hair. Eyeshadow does not go on very well. It's a cool idea to do it underneath. And you don't have to redo your brows again. I should have went like that. And remember, ladies, brows are sisters, they are not twins. 
You want to do something? You might have heard about Dolly Parton. Okay, so she only washes her face once a day, and that's in the morning. Yes, she wears her makeup at night. The reason behind that for her is that what if you're in a hotel or your home and your house catches on fire and you have to run out and you don't have your makeup on? Nobody except maybe her close, close family have seen her without makeup. At least I never recall that. She's a beautiful, sweet, wonderful woman. God bless her. I'm not making fun of her. I just thought that was something else. She's so feisty. All right. I want to be like her when I grow up. Let's do our eyes, shall we? I'm going to start out with, and I wrote it down. These do not have names on them. If they do, they're on the back and I can't read it. But the first one I'm going to go in for my base. This is the first line, second. So that's going to be my base right there. I'm going to use my BK Beauty 206. It's just a little flat brush. and I'm going to use that for my base. Here we go. So I am just going to put this all over. I'm not forgetting the tape this time. I was a little closer, wasn't I? <laughs> Shoot. Okay. It just helps better with a smoky eye in general. Okay, now we'll go back again. So I'm going to start with the smoke. And we're going to make it a light smoke. This is a very light campfire. Okay. Oh, I guess we're check. <laughs> Alright, see? That is a subtle all over. Some people like it darker. Not moi. So right here, this little paw, I'm going to use that as a crease. I take my little... This is my Jessup one. They don't, number 244. I'm going to dip it in that. Just what works for me to make this sucker because we want this outside like this. It's supposed to be dark. Hence the smoke. And if you have eyes like mine, it is an ex a special challenge. And you don't have to go that far out with the darker brown. Just to get some smoke in there. Smoke gets in your eyes. That's my husband's favorite song by the Platters. Have you guys seen Always? Oh, Richard Dreyfuss and Holly Hunter. Classic. If you haven't, watch it. All right. Okay, so here is the startings of a smoke, of a smoky eye, done only as La La can. All right? And I'm going to take a really tiny one. This is a Jessup. 225, just a really t teeny tiny rounded, like that teeny tiny rounded. And I'm going to take this dark here in the corner. And I am going to just work this. Just keep pushing it. And it's important that you have the right tools. I find I can't drag anymore. I, I need to, you know, lightly sweep or press in. All right, ladies. Okay. And get to town blending. I think that's pretty on the inner corner. I'm going to take this one here. And I'm going to use it with a little tiny brush like so. So I can get the placement just right because of my concaveness. Well, first of all, I do want to go right like this. Do you see where I'm going? My deep set light, even if you don't have deep set eyes, this this gives highlight, which is lovely for anybody's eye. And then of course I take it up here. And boy, that's when you can see all your hairs <laughs> and peach fuzz when you add highlight. Important to get in that cone cave and then I'm going to use this Glimmer Glimmer here. Glimmer Glimmer Shimmer. And I am going to practice again just doing a gray eye. No blacks. Hmm. That's pretty. I've had a, a, one beautiful lady 
on my channel say that she doesn't think she can wear shimmers. Maybe she just doesn't like them. But if it, it, you can certainly wear whatever you want. Okay. You are limited to nothing. I move carefully. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Now I'm just going to soften everything. You most certainly do not have to. Just like to soften those edges a tad. That's my smoky eye right now, but I am not done. Now I lost my train. Where is that cool little brush I had? I right here. Remember this one? Remember I got this in my Jessup, and I'm going to use that in the dark brown to line my eyes. It just works so good. So I'll list all. And again, I'm not going harsh. And you can definitely, I'm going to use a waterline brush, but you can definitely use just a liner on here if you want. Mine's just going real subtle. And I'm going to wipe that off. And underneath my eye, I'm going to go in with the uh, transition color for down here. And then you can just take your little smush mush McGruff. Where'd it go? 204, little smudging brush. And just kind of smudge. I found out you need a coal pencil for a liner to smudge. Or I'm using um, eyeshadow. Okay. Then I'm going to use my Lith Fine Tip Black Waterline. It's just, it's just all that, and I'm going to put that under. See, it just, and I'm putting it between my lashes, okay? Between the lashes and the waterline. Goes on easy, like butter. I don't know, anybody put butter on their face? And then today for my, for my lashes, I'm going to use my Grand Lash. I said I want to use the, I mean, I have so many favorites, ladies. Turn to the base, pull up. Got to do a couple of coats with this, but it does stay all day and does not flake. I'd like to know what your lady's favorite mascara is. I still, my go-to is the Maybelline falsies. Okay, this is my rendition of a smoky eye. Okay, now we're going to do the under eye to, to get my Neutrogena. I want to get it in like so, right where I want it. Then I take my thinners, get them warm. Get your fingers warm. Okay. Pat, pat, pat. This Yensa uh, concealer had uh, set thick on me. You know, had creased. So I'm going to try this under my eyes. Never again. And see if it will... Uh, Separate. Okay, ladies, that's the smoky eye, and this is the CoverGirl foundation. I will come back later for a wear test and let you know. You beautiful ladies of my heart, here I am about 6.20 p.m., and I'm disappointed in the CoverGirl Olay Age Define Cream Foundation. It, it, it didn't last, it like dissipated. Uh, I had spots where it had still been sitting in my fine lines. So I'm. it's not a keeper. It, it went on beautiful and lasted for a few hours, but then it just didn't, you know, just kind of melted and went somewhere else. But the eyes, <laughs> okay, I know the eyes are not traditional smoky eyes. I told you they were my smoky eyes, my rendition. I don't like to do 
just real dark, bold colors. I think with deep set hooded eyes, it, it just doesn't look good. I think just the lighter browns, you can still achieve it. And my under eyes where I used the Yensa that I said set in my eyes, set in my fine lines and wrinkles, they did not because of the balm. I, I just wish everybody could have the same luck that I'm having. I'm just, I'm tickled. And it has to do with also staying hydrated and taking care of your skin. It's a keeper in my book. Now, having said that, oh, we're running into a heat wave, ladies. It's been set, it's like 75 here today, and tomorrow it's going to be 94. It's just, there's no wiggle room. So I would get out my ice bras. I am, because it's going to be a scorcher. So take care, stay hydrated, and I'll see you the next time around. Love you guys. Mwah!